wonder if the gods are watching me. I have a lot on my mind. Your parasite communes with Lysel's. Her heart races as she learns of the events inside the astral prism. Orpheus, Gith's only son. He lives. It is not the Gaith visitor that Vlakith would destroy and Vos would set free. It is Orpheus, the blood of the mother, the prince of the comet. Listen close. The Emperor spoke only in half-truths. For you to know the tale of Orpheus, you must know the tale of Gith and of Vlakith. Long ago, when we rose up against our gay slavers, Mother Gith made for the Hells to secure an alliance with the Archdevil Tiamat. Tiamat gifted the Githyanki our red dragons. Gith remained in the Hells, and Tiamat's envoy proclaimed Vlakith our ruler. The first Vlakith of many. It is Vlakith 157 whom my people now call Queen. Yes. Our current queen has claimed undeath and reigned for a thousand years. But it was the first whom Orpheus tried to slay. Orpheus was, is, Gith's only son. He led his mother's own honor guard in a coup against Vlakith I. It was Kithrak Vos himself who slayed the prince in vicious battle. Or so the Varshas teach us. Yet the prince of the comet's been with us. Subdued by that repugnant illithid. Should Orpheus go free, he would tear Vlakith's empire to pieces and build new glory from the scraps. The seed and the sower. Every word Voss spoke, he spoke true. Orpheus is the living proof of the Queen's lies and the living weapon that conquered our gay slavers. One word from his lips, and the people would doubt. Two words, and they would rage. Three words, and they would bow to the true heir. If the Githyanki are to be free, the Prince of the Comet must lead the way. What about him? The historical slates describe Orpheus as a fearsome, terrible creature. Powerful beyond measure, and enthralled by the Geich. So mad with power, he'd smash through the Githyanki Empire and deliver the shards to his illithid masters. And glowing with such psionic force that he and his red dragon blazed a trail through the skies. A lethal comet careening towards my people. Lies, of course. Vlakith spread a false image of Orpheus as monstrous betrayer, and her knights as the butchers who sliced him through. She was right to fear him, I'll grant her that. So great is the comet, it could shatter her reign. The Emperor may be loathsome, but it's right. Orpheus can disrupt a gay hive mind. A talent like that makes the Prince a powerful shield, and a powerful weapon. Why destroy a weapon like that, when you can contain it in a relic and keep it for yourself? A weapon is only an asset for as long as it isn't pointed at you. The means of Vlakith's own end has been ripped away from her. Better to have Orpheus killed than to risk his escape. Better to risk the rise of Illithids than let the Prince of the Comet deny her the godhood she craves. Orpheus's honor guard, loyal to the end, trapped by Vlakith in the same prism holding their noble prince, fruitlessly hacking at the sphere that contains him. They see us as Geich, tadpoled husks in the Emperor's thrall. I regret their deaths. But I pledge to live as they perished, in the service of Gith's son. Very well. Be honest. What do you think of the new look?
Well, I'm glad someone does. Perhaps I'll get used to it. I have a lot to get used to right now. We must find where Gortash and Orin have established themselves, and take their nether stones. Baldur's Gate is right over the hills, and so is Kazador. Kazador and his right of profane ascension. An imperial soiree, attended by devils and spawn alike. A grand ceremony to honor one exalted vampiric master. And elevate him to an unfathomable station. To place him in a position of such esteem. The world will yearn to kneel and offer their necks. Of course I envy him. Why wouldn't I? The problem with what Cazador has done is that he did it to me. If the time comes and I can stay one move ahead of him, I'll take his place before his blood can hit the floor. <laughs> What's a hand for the wretched servants? If they're anything like me when I was enslaved, they're all but begging for death anyway. After 200 years of shit, pure shit, I think I deserve something better. We'll be glorious both, you and I. You'll have your day too. Let's find out more about the ritual before we waltz into Cazador's front door. If we track down my old comrades, the other spawn, we may discover more and be finely positioned for yours truly to ascend. My, my, you sweetheart. Then there isn't a moment to waste. If we don't find my brethren, they'll find us. Likely with bared fangs. We should get to them first. Then we can make their pretty tongues talk. Unless Cazadors change their orders, they'll be in the dens of this town, seeking prey. I have to keep going. The city is close now. My former peers will be watching, no doubt. Waiting for my return. We should do what we can to find them. What they know could help us. Open up. Um, excuse me. I can't find my mum. She was... Um, she was sick. She had spots on her face and hands. She went to go get some herbs, and she was supposed to come back the same day. That was last ten day, though. Oh, wow, thank you. Mum loved food like this. Simple is best, she always said. I'll, um, I'll look for her. I think she'll probably come soon. Thanks a lot. Something's on my mind. If my friend tries to get you to invest, kindly turn her down. She doesn't need the encouragement. If I hire the refugees, then I get cheap labor and they get coin. It's a good deal for everyone. 
prodding them while they were trying to work. the investment to get me started. All this kerfuffle over missing rat caps. Yes, we'd caged them due to unruly behavior, but as our rat cap cleaners demonstrate, most are perfectly harmless. Keep a sharp eye out. Red caps are on the loose. One's deemed too violent to work. And not one of these circus folks seem bothered by it. Did you realize the red caps Dad, have escaped? What's that the monster? circus of the last days has returned. See Dryad's gin and dribbles the clown back with a new act. Stinks of cheese! Between his piggy toes! How dare you! What in the hell is all of this? A necessity, good sir. The Steel Watch loves pretending sweet Rivington doesn't exist. So we have decided to protect you, dear patrons. <laughs> no need to thank us. You'll be allowed in once I've done this batch. Next! Hello, hello, and welcome to the Circus of the Last Days, the finest extra planar circus there is. <gasps> A circus! Can we go? We travel from plane to plane, thrilling all blessed to see us, from tempestuous Ginny to belligerent redcaps. You'll find them all here. But enough of this. The circus is a place of joy and distraction, so uh, come inside and forget your worries. Not a problem, dear patron. Benji just has to check if you're a vicious murderer. Benji? <sighs> ah! Brain juice smells like piss and iron! No like. Oh, well, that's a first. Usually, I'd allow you in, but in these times, I can take no chances. Move along. No circus for you. if I'm not a sucker for big eyes and a heartfelt plea. Very well. Welcome to the Circus of the Last Days. Have fun, and be sure to catch the star of our show, Dribbles the Clown. A Baldurian. Good. Lots of unfamiliar faces in the city these days. Never felt an earthquake in Baldur's Gate before. They were angry. What the hell? I don't care how big they were. I'll give them a piece of my mind. Can I help you? Oh, bloody ribs. Sorry, mate. Had a run in with a mugger. If you need something, ask the missus. Everything you read in the Don't wander around Rivington alone, all right? My husband did and got mugged and beaten for his trouble. The absolute army is on our doorstep. You want to live? Get out of here before it's too late. Would everyone please stop going on about the absolute's army? Lord Gortash is going to sort it all out. You'll see. We should go straight to the source. Never thought I'd feel sorry for a flock of pigeons.
What do you remember? I've bags for myself in the kitchen. Ready by the door. You should do the same. The circus of the last days has returned. See Dryad's Gin and Dribbles the Clown back with a smile. Your face! Something to say? Don't be shy! Welcome to Sword Coast Couriers. To send and to serve. Delivery not guaranteed. Well, we've had to change the policy. Hard to send letters by road when there's a rampage and army of fanatics bearing down on you. I'll tell you, it's left me in a right pickle. I've sent what I can by pigeon, but now something's attacking them and all. Become a postmaster, Danzo. It'll be easy. Nobody mentions having to spend your evenings hunting for pigeon carcasses, do they? You sense there's more to his anxiety than a few missing letters. Oh, well, uh... One of the missing letters is my own correspondence. A, a personal matter, nothing serious. But you can understand, if people think I can't even deliver my own letters, I'd be finished. I suppose there's no harm in you taking a look. Here's something to get you started. Bring me the letter, unopened, and you'll get the rest. spot, eh? Knocks the breath out of me to get up here. But the views are worth it. That might be worth a look. Keep your distance, darling. Soldier. Making me sweat. What's next? This way. Was a wonderful idea. Just what we needed. Fine day for it, eh? Got to enjoy things while they last, I suppose. All's well that ends. Yeah, not as bad as it could have. <laughs> Breathe deep and move. If 
before you lies the unconscious body of a mind flayer, glistening and raw. A newborn. Unattended. How fortunate. Oh, but it is. This one has only just transformed. It is weak, vulnerable, its potential ripe for harvesting. Go on, kill it, absorb its power, just like you did before. Come no closer, you. You. What are you? What am I sensing? You are like me. Like I was. A vessel yet to transform. Help me. I am so hungry. My vessel. He fought the transformation. He found it excoriating. I can still taste his terror. It is delicious, but will not sustain me. We need to feed. We need a brain fresh and frantic to restore our strength. Very well, kin. I shall dine on you. All right, Karlak, it's go time. I'm going to enjoy this. Absorb its potential if you consume it. Looks empty. Wonderful idea. Just what we needed. I want to have a I word. I thought you might want to get your mind off things. Um, can I help you? This is a private picnic. Fine day for it. The guard is busy with their patrol and has no time. a favour. Box my ears in. I can't listen to any more whining about missing letters.
When will I get to train the dogs again, Miss Mahia? Woof! Ah, you speak, which means you're not a dog. So, what the hell are you doing in my kennels? It's the only way to teach him. He behaves worse than the dogs and makes more of a mess. They're not for sale. These are courier dogs, trained to follow orders, read maps, and protect their deliveries with their lives. They're worth more than their weight in gold. Found him, did you? I can't say I'm surprised. Gomwick never kept him on a tight leash. Bring him here, and I'll give him a once-over for you. Check him for worms and so on. Oh, yes, please, I'd love to see him. He's a good dog. We'd both love to see him again. <gasps> Scratch! Oh, it's good to see you, boy! Shut up, Dringo, and get back to work. And you've been slacking as well, Scratch, my boy. This dog is property of Sword Coast Couriers. I'll take him off your hands now. I can do whatever I please. He's my dog. Now get out. This is a private yard. I'm not surprised. Gonwick always indulged him. And he's got a spark in his eye I don't like. Looks lively. Take the useless mutt if you're so inclined. I'll have nothing more to do with him. It's not just Scratch. She's always hurting the dogs. Shut your mouth, Dringo. Last warning. You think you can do a better job without me? Be my guest. They're a useless bunch of mongrels. You're welcome to them. You... You got rid of her. I I'll do a better job looking after these dogs than she ever did. I promise. Mistress, go away. She was horrid. Mistress is gone. Mistress is gone. I, I mean, um, such terrible news. She will be missed. suppose you've uh, stumbled across those letters yet much appreciated material pigeons are very sensitive they can't fly straight if they're disturbed name and rank quickly now there's a war on the absolute poppycock. Enemy propaganda designed to confuse simple minds. <laughs> Not your fault you fell for it. <laughs> you need a strong leader like myself to see the wood under the trees. I am Commander Lightfeather, leader of the finest aerial communication regiment this side of the Triumph. State your purpose, Groundwalker. I don't have all day. Oh, dear 
damned awful business. Fine fires, a lot of them. Gone without a trace. Intelligence is in short supply, but we know our enemies flanked us on the west side. Got one rooftop away. They're avoiding the whole area. I won't lose one more beak to the blighter. If you pass that way, beware the sign of the featherless wings. From that rooftop, none return. I've no need of a wing, man. Commander Lightfeather will give you your briefing. I'm not scared of the authorities. But it would be stupid to pick a fight with the fist, right? Forgive me, but I must attend to my friend. She's most upset about the post. Do not, under any circumstances, employ sword course couriers. Their service is appalling. What did the postmaster say? Danzo. will open the temple up again. You will see. The good people, holy people. Bet you won't get kicked out of the temple. They blame us for everything. If you're looking for Il Martyr's charity, you're out of luck. They've turned their backs on us, like everyone else. The crying one weeps today. Our father Logan is dead. Murdered. I... I don't want to talk. My heart is in mourning. May all mates are guide. More outsiders in, and more Baldurians die. Duke Stelney, Father Lorcan, it's no coincidence. We have faith here, Bill. Faith in people, no matter where they're from. Who had more faith than Father Lorcan? How did that work out? Exactly. Lorcan let a killer into our temple due to his misguided compassion. His faith got him murdered. Bill, I beg you, be quiet. Even sinners receive Ilmater's grace, and Father Lorgan knew that. We don't pick and choose who we aid. Thank you, stranger. I take some solace knowing that he died in Ilmater's service. Does Ilmater's service involve protecting heretic absolutists? Oh, perhaps I missed that sermon. Enough, Bill. You seem a kind soul. Our temple is open to you. Walk well. Exactly 
Look, investigator. Brilgor might have been a criminal, but he was no murderer. You're missing something. You have to be. Enough, Yanis. Listen to yourself. You are defending a man who ritually slaughtered your high priest. The evidence speaks for itself. Brilgor killed Father Lorgan, then, be it out of shame or profane duty, offed himself with the same blade. Case closed, Sister Yanis. Shitey little elephant. Oh, um, I apologize, stranger. Language like that hardly befits a rector of Ilmater. You could certainly say that. Two people just died on temple grounds. Our high priest, Father Logan, and one of the new refugees, Brilgor. Investigator Valeria thinks it's a murder and is content to blame Brilgor, the politically convenient target. Feel free to look around the temple, but fair warning. The investigator won't change her mind without significant new evidence. I can tell you where to find her, but she won't be very chatty, I'm afraid. Shira passed away last year. Peacefully, Morin. We buried her in the crypt under the temple, if you wish to visit. Charette's caress would be my best bet. That's her usual haunt after closing a case. Valeria never found the murder weapon, so that could be a start. Anything disproving the refugee murder-suicide angle, really. I really hope you find something. For all our sakes. Seems simple enough. Infirmary. Justice endures, even in suffering. Kitchen. Visitors kindly keep to common areas. Food will be served at meal times. I've said all I have to say already. Now I just want to pack up my kitchen and leave. I know it's not fair. This was the best job I ever had. Lorgan was kinder than most. And now they're blaming a refugee for his death. <laughs> Typical. We toss Brilgor out back. Sister Rose has Lorgan in the infirmary. Preparing him for a decent burial. You could pop your head in and pay your respects. Look, I need... Reckon so. There's something off about you anyway. Might be brain rot. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a dead high priest to see to. Slowly. Lorgan was a good man, if naive. He deserved better. One of the refugees killed him. Cruelly, too. They cut off his hand, sawed right through the bone. I found a paralytic poison on one of his wounds. Lorgan was alive while they took the hand. He just couldn't scream. It's sick. We give them everything, and all we get is nothing but a good man to bury.
The corpse regards you lifelessly. Dwarf, dressed in red. Tunneled from the cellar. Refuge. The corpse remains silent. It does not know. Hiding Grilgor from fists. Must protect innocence. Ilmater's will. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Please, leave me be. I've got an awful lot to get done. How goes the search? Talking to the victim's corpses was clever, but I don't know if Valeria will accept that testimony. You're on the right track. Please, keep looking. Please. Talk to him. Please, if you could just. For the good of the. Nothing but scraps for days. Color looks familiar. Does this cat belong to Gale? Um, yeah. The Trasim seems nervous, but you can't quite tell why. Please. Dirty my paws for anything less than pheasant. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy luxuriating in solitude. Oh, if it'll hasten your departure. I ate the pigeons. Are you satisfied? I prevaricated before. Pigeon is my second most favorite meat. Beholder, 
but it's exceedingly rare to come by. Uh, but let's not get bogged down in semantics. I believe you were just leaving, weren't you? Ta! In service of not having to make any further conversation with you, I concede I'll be on my way then. There are a few places in the city I'd like to visit. I might have sussed some interesting items I'd rather like to get my paws upon. If I find anything interesting, I might even be willing to barter. Might. Tara. Away. Mikel Hornkiss gave all to the Dominic Sonny, lost himself to addiction, but found Pete Nalo Essie. Grief and illness laid Rue B. Gardenson, gave her life protector Geshan Kirkaros, built the open hand temple, gave all in his name. We honor their life and legacy. Alvin Muffle Fieldwick gave his fort Millie Runbarrel, killed by the cult of the Absolute, an unknown child and her dog who stood watch over her grave. May they be reunited in Ilmater's grace. Mikel Hornkiss gave all to the left Dominic Sonny, lost himself to addiction, but found peace in Ilmater.
Let us talk to him. Please, if you could just... We have the Duke's full Something good here, I hope. To get me started. Oh, go, you it's heartless. up there, we're oh. down here. Uh -huh. My, what are you That's why you? we need to walk just a little more. If I was a shower and look at Oh, really? <laughs> I prefer my company. Extraordinary. Back off and return to your homes. That's an order. Why don't you protect us? <laughs> don't thank me. Of these... thank... Oh, gods. Not another protester. Go talk to Nestor if you must. I've got plenty on my plate with these mewling geese. I just lost a wager. Thanks to you. Who are you? Someone who bet that you'd never be foolish enough to actually show your face in this city again. But here you are. And the gold in my purse is soon to take flight. There have been whispers about you, sister. About your faith, your loyalty, your company. I can't help but feel the strangest twinge of disgust as I look upon you. Is it true? Has Our Lady forsaken you? I know the truth. I know my parents still live. Tell me where they are and I have no quarrel with you. I'm afraid the quarrel is unavoidable, thanks to you. 
Now I must report your reappearance. If you are intent on bringing matters to a head, then seek out the House of Grief in the Lower City. Though, if I was you, I'd be very tempted to just forget it all and disappear. You have some form of doing so, after all. Please just go home. You're ruining a perfectly uneventful posting with this nonsense. The flaming fists are supposed to protect this good city, but they allow trash and vermin to take our homes and goods. You, you're a true Baldarian, I can tell. You must understand why we need to keep these strays out of our city. Another bleeding heart. Piss off and take it elsewhere. One's crossing. We could be inside the city walls before long. And I could be back where this all started. Then that's where we need to go. My parents are in there somewhere. again. I don't really need to be saved right now. Good thing, huh? Bye. You did me a real favor clearing all those ghouls out of Moonrise. That old bonebag Ketherick had some fancy junk stashed behind all the cobwebs and piles of gore. Wish I could tell you. We're stuck out here, but most of the action is beyond Worms Crossing. Didn't you? Figured we only got the scraps you didn't have the strength to carry. Would I try to fool a Sharpie like you? Have a look. Stay away from trap chests! Donations. Food, sundries, gold. These poor refugee sods need all the help they can get. Thank you. I'm sure your contribution will be greatly appreciated. Citizen. Got a lot to keep my eye on round here. You smell like like poop. They got me signed up to learn to make pots, which is dumb. I'd rather learn how to kill cultists. And I bet you'd back me up on that. I'm really worried about Umi. So, you survived. That's more than many of my kin can say. It's mainly anger that keeps me going. Zevlor was supposed to lead us. But he froze when we needed him most. I, I haven't seen him since the massacre on the road, which is lucky for him. We made it alive to Baldur's Gate. Almost, anyway. But I, I, I can't complain. When I look at Bex and realize she's safe, it's hard not to weep from joy. We made it through hell, twice. I know now that as long as Danis and I stick together, we can do anything.
Hail, friend. Fine day, isn't it? Forgive me, you're in no mood to talk about the weather. Your journey here was a hard one, no doubt. Is this your first time in Baldur's Gate? It's a fine city, isn't it? No better place to hail from. Used to be you'd arrive knowing you had a full belly and a warm bed waiting for you. Not anymore. These days, there's barely enough to go around. I had the refugees on top, and well, folk aren't feeling too generous. That might be the simplest approach. Unfortunately, not everyone sees it that way. Some well-to-do's in the city donated enough to see the newcomers right for the time being. Only they didn't bother helping everyone else. Locals going without while strangers feast. It stoked the fire, all right. Some Baldarians are kicking up a fuss round the front of the barn as we speak. If I wasn't wearing this uniform, I'd walk round there and teach them a lesson they'd never forget. Too bloody right. They've gone soft behind those walls, forgotten what it's like to struggle, living hand to mouth. I say we march round there and slit a few bellies, remind them how much worse things could be. What do you say? Why does it matter? Innocence makes the blood run clearer. You're the lick spittle who crushed the bone lord's thrall. Have you come begging, sniffing for our stones? Gortash won't like that. A throat his black hand can't choke the spit from. You'll need to bleed and carve this city if you want to turn him to grave meat. He shivers at the thought. When you find the Lordling, tell him Oren is watching. So, Oren is a shapeshifter. How long has she been watching? Christine is pretty for Washing my pits, washing my pits. This is the song when I... Oi! Could a bloke not get any bleeding privacy around here? Bunch of perverts, the lot of you. Well, I guess he better get wet. And soon. We've got to get Grunchin at the city, but he's in no shape to travel. I wonder, what if we hit him in a big barrel and nailed it shut? Nah. Refugees can't stay. Diseases. And any one of them could be a spy for the absolute. Back off and return to your homes. That's an order. Nowhere else to go, you heartless <sighs> sod. That's no my problem. Pity. The place was empty. Keep those thugs away from my family. Denuvia! Get these spotters out of my house now! Arthur, sweetheart, you paid me and my boys to be caravan guards, not cattle wranglers. If you want us to get our hands dirty, it'd be our pleasure. But that'll be extra. I just want to remove these unlawful interlopers from my property. My point exactly. <laughs> They're like kobolds. You let one in and soon the place will be crawling with them. Ye gods, this guy is begging to get smacked. This man's indignant demeanor barely masks a seething anxiety. There's more to this situation than he's letting on. 
I'm a very magnanimous individual, but this is my home! Either they leave, or I'll make them! Well, wouldn't you be on edge if your beautiful home had been defiled by such brazen interlopers? They can stay. Just don't blame me when they turn on you like the mongrels they are. I respect your hustle, sweetheart, but it won't work on me. You've stepped on the guild's toes, and we'd like a little something to make it better. The guild, a loose coalition unifying every criminal outfit in the city under one collective rule, from cut purses to contract killers. Just a little something. Consider it a gesture of goodwill. Smart decision, sweetheart. Well, boys, we did what we were paid for. Let's leave this lot to their misery. Heartless scum. I'm a reasonable woman. We could easily work something out in a house this big. Not quite sure why you stood up for us like that. But I won't say I'm not grateful. Thanks. And may Torm keep you. Same way lots of us did. Trying to get away from the army of the Absolute. If you had the chance to put a roof over your family's heads after being on the run for Torm knows how long, wouldn't you? We will stay, for now. I just hope he doesn't pay anyone else to come sniffing round. Thank you. And may Torm keep you. You're the first person in this city to have our backs. Thank you. Really. At least we'll have some peace. Peace? What peace? Haven't you heard there's an army marching towards the city? Better to be with us than without Martha. At least here we stand a chance. Careful. Refugees for hire. Catchy, right? There is so much wrong with that name. Six. How are we fixed on supplies? Sound off. Always ready. Why is getting trouble? Camp bits and bobs from Dandelion's dancing act. What's the plan? I have secured the most excellent supply potions from the Velveteen Elixir. If you're after a job, Neverwinter is on the lookout for adventurers. That's where we're headed. You look like you need to clean off the road, Dad. Almost as much as I do. No good ends with hot water and a tub on this side of the crossing, though. What's the rush, Sob? Can't we stay here for a bit? We're gonna see the mummy, the dryad, the ginny, everything! So don't even think about trying to stop us! You can't get in trouble for trap... for tress... for sneaking into places as a kid, right? Just wondering. Don't you want to see the dryad? Or the Jimmy? Or the 
Rivington General. Hi! Want a blade? Or a bow? Or a dagger? Or maybe a spear is more your thing? You look like you know how to use a spear. By spear. What'd you say? Huh? Sorry. Sorry. I just get so excited doing the best job ever. Yeah, huh? I get to talk to people all day and work for the best damn smith in all of Rivington. Gildro Angleiron. He's a living legend. Do you know he's won best smith in Rivington seven years in a row? And, and he says that if I move enough stock, I might even get to have a go on the anvil. Right up the stairs in his workshop. But I wouldn't bother him if I were you. He doesn't like to be disturbed when he's in the zone. Is there anything I can help you with? Maybe a shiny, shiny new blade. Yay! Want more? Want less? Wanna sell? Wanna buy? You know where I am. Bye! Welcome, adventurer. I take it you're new to Rivington. No doubt you came here to choose from my fine selection of weapons. Yes, I seem to have it all. Clubs, swords, maces, bows, cutting and gutting galore. Why don't we see if we can find the perfect weapon for you? I provide a personalized service for my customers to make sure the weapon I choose is the perfect fit. Tell me, how do you like to kill? I see, playing to your strengths, keeping things simple. And when you kill someone, what do you feel? Killing holds no fear for you, does it? You understand what it takes and what it gives. One more question, if you'll humor me. Do you think you could turn your weapon on those closest to you? There's a killer inside you, isn't there? It wouldn't take much to push you over the edge. Oh, still rolling in the muck, I see. Gortash knows you are coming. Knows you have the Bone Lord's stone. Do not let him hiss hot air into your worm-weakened brain. Oh. You could kill him, let him close, and make him feel the tickle of your blade between his ribs. <laughs> Remember, his throat spits lies, but my blade carves the truth. You will read it on your skin soon enough. She's toying with me. What does she want? Ah, yeah. You! Try attacking me when my back isn't turned, you bloody coward! Is that so? You've got some evil twin running round, whacking people round the back of the head. I'll tell you now, you'll be seeing bloody double when I'm done with you. Well, you're not wrong. 
Feels like my brain's been drawn on the anvil. I need a bloody drink. Go on, clear off. I've seen enough of your face today. What do you want now? Then go down to the bloody shop. I've got work to do. Back again. Want a dagger or a bow? Yep, that's me. Oh, uh, all right. Yes, I just got to find a way to bother him huh. without actually bothering him. He doesn't like to be disturbed when he's in the zone, see? Is there anything else I can do for you? It's guilt or angle I am, for God's sakes. If you knew how good he was, trust me, you'd feel exactly the same way. Oh, yay! Want more? There's more than one way to skin a dressing. We'll find a way into the city. You have my word. Don't suppose you've uh, stumbled across those letters yet? Thank the gods. Unopened as well. Oh, what a relief. My customers will be most pleased. Here's your fee. As promised. Returned, yet my flyers have not. I suppose they've flown this mortal coop, so to speak. <laughs> Make your report. How did the battle unfold? Of course they did. No doubt it was my training gave them the discipline and resolve to stay in the fight. <laughs> As for you, flightless one, <laughs> it was an honor. Taking you under me wing. Dismissed! to meet the most cowardly dragonborn in the realms. I fell for the blockhead.